Ukraine's children could suffer from the war for years to come. In the city of Donetsk, hundreds are living in underground shelters due to the fighting. CCTV's Kate Parkinson has that story. These bomb shelters provide a degree of safety, but they are unsanitary, crowded and freezing. For the children, life underground is a difficult existence. <coughs> they are missing out on school and are rarely allowed out to play. I met Eleanor here in August. She tells me her family moved back to their home briefly in December, but when their apartment was hit by a shell, they came back underground. Her little girl feels safer here, she says. The United Nations recently visited 12 bomb shelters like this. In Donetsk city alone, they found an estimated 1,000 children hiding underground. They spend their days and their nights listening to the sounds of heavy shelling. In some ways, the children at this orphanage are the lucky ones. The staff who have not received salaries since June say they try to create a safe environment for the children and they encourage them to express their fears, their nightmares about the ongoing conflict through art and therapy. Marina is a psychologist. She says the children's images can be very revealing. In most cases, the children were brought here from places that were shelled. So they have witnessed not only destruction, weapons, and fightings around them, but also the wounded and the dead, both fighters and civilians. The UN says 1.7 million children are affected by this conflict. Many will live with the psychological trauma for years to come. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Donetsk.